Here of News 5 tonight. The government will ramp up infrastructure to create a self-sufficient and sustainable environment. This will be through projects such as the second phase of the deep tunnel sewerage system and the second desalination plant in Tuas. Minister for the Environment and Water Resources, Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan, shared these details in his ministry's Committee of Supply debate speech. The first phase of the deep tunnel sewerage system was completed in 2008. The 48-kilometer superhighway for used water comprises a network of tunnels, link sewers and pipes from Kranji to Changi. On Tuesday, Dr. Balakrishnan announced that work on phase two of the system would begin soon. The 18-kilometer network, scheduled to be completed by 2022, would serve the western part of Singapore and come equipped with a new water reclamation plant in Tuas. Dr. Balakrishnan also said the second desalination plant in Tuas is due to be completed in July this year. Dr. Balakrishnan said the second desalination plant would add another 70 million gallons of water a day and in the long run meet about a quarter of the nation's total water demand. Today we have the four national taps and we are in a secure position. I can give assurance to this house we will certainly be water independent well before the expiry of the, the last agreement with Malaysia. He also gave an update on water prices. I cannot predict what the future cost of water will be without knowing what the cost of energy will be. But what I can say is that I, at, on our current trajectory and with the hard work that's been done by PUB, there is no need to raise water prices this year. The government will also start work on five new active beautiful clean waters projects this year. These will include projects at Sungai Tampanese and Kalang River section near St Andrews School.